Hi, John McFailler from Matex Control Chemical in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I want to speak to you about one of our products called Hole Control. Hole Control is a two-part product. It has uh, our environmentally safe water-soluble lubricant sheared into one of our polymers to make it easy and quick to mix. It's formulated to speed up your hole coloring, reduce color sloughing, stabilize the borehole wall, and makes setting and retrieving casing um, much easier. Here, as you can see, in a construction industry, we are drilling with a downhole hammer and setting casing through sands and gravels. This white that you're seeing here is the hole control that's being injected while we're drilling. It is stabilizing the borehole wall, but also leaving a lubricant on the casing so the casing will be easier to slide out. Then you can set your anchor, inject your grout, and the grout will actually eat the polymer that's in there and give you a very nice bond. We've never had any problem with uh, any of the bonding when using this, uh, this product. Sometimes you can even do the same application, setting small anchors, micro piles or what have you, without even using the casing. We have experienced this in, on some jobs in, uh, Western, uh, in Western Canada. So same thing, you can drill down using the hole control once you get to the bottom, then inject your grout, and you're not losing off all your grout off into your formation because you've stabilized that borehole wall on the way down, so you're gonna lose a lot less, use a lot less grout, and still get a very good bond, as you can see right here. The grout actually eats the polymers. In this video, this is just showing you the top of the hole, how well this product collars the top of the hole, without using the casing. And you can see the formation there, the gravel and whatnot, and how it bonds the, all that together. So you're looking at the inside of the borehole wall, it's going to be just like the inside of a rifle barrel instead of it all over the place and having cavities. So when you go to inject, drop an anchor in there and then put your grout in there, then you know the grout, you can pretty well figure it out from the borehole wall, from the borehole size as to how much grout you need in each hole. Depending on the formation that you're drilling in, you're going to re uh, receive different results. As you can see right here, there's a little bit more clay in this formation, which assists in binding up the borehole wall. So you, the inside of this hole is going to look exactly like that, just a nice, in, like the inside of a shotgun barrel, like I say. Here, obviously not using any hole control whatsoever, and when you're air drilling, you're blowing all the, the fines and the sands and the clays out of there, and allowing those larger rocks to fall in the hole. Sometimes they have to uh, put, the, put a casing in there. So this was like a, more like a blast hole uh, application here, but having to case all of this off so they can get their dynamite down in the hole versus using hole control over here. You can see how nicely packed all the cuttings and the fines are. This is kind of a, a neat animation here because we're drilling with a very large downhole hammer. And in, when you're drilling with a larger downhole hammer, and the, your pipe size is quite small in comparison to the size of the hole for larger piles. You can see the communication from the holes going from this hole over to maybe one of the other holes. If you can see this on the video, there's another hole drilled here and a hole drilled there. Well, when the air is communicating off over here, you're not getting your uphole velocity. And in this case, we just have a bucket here that will catch the cuttings. So you want your uphole velocity sending up the cuttings into this, into this bucket so they can pull the bucket up out of the hole, dump the bucket, and continue on. If we can't even do that, if we don't have, obviously have enough air to blow everything up there, and you have the bucket there, we don't want the communication going off over here. So by injecting hole control in through a downhole hammer, then it's coming out the bit, and it's sealing off any of these fractures here that might be causing the communication from one borehole to another. And that means that all of your air is being used to drive the cuttings up and drop them into this bucket. So it's going to really help you um, keep your hole symmetrical and uh, help you with your penetration rates. How do we get the uh, hole control in there? With the Matex fluid injector. This injector has been designed specifically for injecting uh, hole control. There's lots of information on our website uh, and videos just on the injector itself to see more information on that. However, Using the fluid injector, what's the advantages? 
100% consistency of this product. This is a two-part product, and we want the consistency to be 100%, so you'll get the best bang for your buck. You have total control of your fluids, your ability to, ability to start the product or stop it whenever you want to, um, control complete whole, no spillage, increase or decrease your, your flow, which definitely re reflects in your ROP, and the, the injector will obviously pay for itself pretty quick. There's a few different designs of injectors out there. This, this design here is great for a construction site for a small drill if you don't have any um, water tanks or, or any means of getting water to your site. This is just a small tank. You can see here one of our distributors had actually built this system and put it, put it all together. So you have your water tank, your little water injection pump, and your Matex injector here. So we just set all this up that it's run by air. We take our discharge line from our injection and into the discharge line of the water injection that feeds over to the air line and it gets mixed in that air line. So nice little package that these guys have. We can always hook you up with, with one of these uh, systems as well. When, when do we know how much product is, is enough product or, or how much is too much. In this little animation here, I like to put this on here because it's easier if you see it. Every time you go to make a connection, if you have about an eight inch stringer hanging out from your drill pipe or any connections that you make at your top quill or what have you, then you should have about the right amount of injection per your uh, rotation and per your penetration. So just look for that eight inch stringer. This is about it for the uh, hole control. For more information on the product and some more videos and what have you, you can always go to visit our, our website at uh, www.matex-ccc.com. It's right down here in the bottom of this. I uh, hope that helps you understand this product a little more and uh, helps you in your field and in your construction applications. Thanks for watching.